What's up, YouTube? Nick here with another episode of the Purple Dahlia Grow Journal. Uh, this week we'll be fighting off fungus gnats with a compost tea, uh, beneficial bugs, and finishing up those clones. So right here, after 24 hours of bubbling to get all the chlorine out, I'm adding the earthworm castings. Going to kick things off with a splash of molasses. As you can see, plenty of oxygenation. Uh, and really, uh, the basics around this is... The earthworm castings add the microbial life, the sugar acts as a food source, the bubbling uh, adds oxygen to the water and makes it a rich environment for multiplication. As it brews, you just want the microbial life to increase exponentially. And then you can add them to your plants. So now I'm adding a tablespoon of radiant green. This is about 12 hours after adding the earthworm castings and the molasses, stirring it up real nicely. Uh, and I'll also be adding some fat flowers from Dragonfly Earth Medicine. Big fan of their company. Uh, you know, the two owners are super nice and they make an amazing product. Uh, and then I let this bubble for another, you know, six to eight hours. Could have let, really should have let it go a full 12 uh, according to the fat flower instructions before adding these to the purple dahlias. Also, we're going to pick up where we left off uh, with these clones. They've been soaking in aloe vera solution for 24 hours. Uh, I'm using some clone holders uh, that I divide up into four. You get a little bit more bang for your buck that way, as well as uh, you can fit some more on a little cloner like this. Uh, and as you can see, I'm being careful to label each one. I've taken three clones from each plant for redundancy. That way, you know, we're guaranteed, uh, well, certainly not guaranteed, but much higher chance of getting a clone to the finish line. I uh, like this technique here. I uh, just took a Tupperware container, drilled some holes. Uh, it'll be filled up with distilled water um, and with an air stone in there as well for aeration. Uh, and then I just stuck it in the corner of a tent uh, with some low light because they're a bit sensitive. Now, speaking of light, uh, we've moved the purple dahlias down to their final, final home, excuse me, in the Gorilla Grow Tent 4x4. As you can see, the seven gallons waiting to receive uh, the females. And I just want to get the par close to what it was in the box, a little bit lower because it was running a bit high. Don't want uh, you know, to stun any growth by uh, giving them too much light. Uh, so trying to get it dialed in, moving the plants around, moving the lights around. Uh, and also a little update on the fungus gnats. Last week they were brutal, uh, and uh, finally we had those beneficial bugs come in from build a soil. Uh, I know they've been slammed. A lot of people ordering uh, growing products uh, during this time of quarantine. Uh, so definitely appreciate them getting these out here. Rove beetles, predatory mites. Right now I'm adding the mites. Uh, they come in these big bags. And this time I saw the rove beetles moving around. So, uh, you know, they're definitely alive and kicking. Bad news for the fungus gnats. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, just dumping a little bit onto each plant. Uh, I bought some bigger bags and, you know, I hit all the cover crops, all the plants, uh, even some of the edibles I'm growing like lettuce. And that way, you know, there's no refuge for these fungus gnats to hide and I uh, can really have them on the run. And I was pumped, even just a few days after applying these beneficials, uh, you can see from the new sticky traps I set up that it really made a dent. Uh, even after three days, set this up on the 9th, it's now the 12th, uh, you can really see it took a big bite out of their population. Uh, I added the compost tea. As you can see here, the plants are looking super happy. My bad for not recording that. Got a little bit too high and spaced. Only realized after I had applied it that I did not film it. But Plenty more compost tea to come, so don't worry about that. Definitely add that to another episode. And uh, that's all we've got this week. So don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got the playlist here in case you've missed any of our uh, previous episodes. And this week in the bong, I've got some Panama Red I grew last year. Uh, really been loving this strain. So here we go.